I'm Shana Bracha, Dr. Mom HD. Welcome once again. Okay, today what we're going to talk about is positive parenting. So what is that? Everybody says, well, I'm positive. I positively parent my children correctly. Well, that is removing the word no from your parenting. It is not the easiest thing to do, let me tell you. Because what will happen is you will fall into the same habit, as we all do, of saying, no, you can't do that. So, Sally comes up to you, she's your daughter, and she says, Mommy, can I go to the park? And you know that the day is busy and that there isn't an opportunity for her to go to the park that day because you're doing something else. What you would say to her is, not today, but maybe tomorrow. Again, or maybe Saturday, or maybe whenever. The idea is, you didn't say no in a negative manner. You gave her an option that there is a possibility of going to the park later. And also, you took the word no out of your, your, your statement there, your, your vocabulary. What most parents would have said is, no, not today. Which is normal, and it's part of us, and children have to understand what the word no is. But the idea is to try and be as positive as possible. So even when they're doing something and they want something and you can't uh, give it to them, trying to reword it, and basically it's just taking your words and rewording them. It's not today, maybe tomorrow. Or not today, maybe Saturday. Or that doesn't look like a possibility. Or many other options that you could use. The idea is not to say no. And what this does is it shows that you're trying to be as positive with them. Even when they're having a negative behavior, you can say instead of um, stop behaving like that or don't do this or whatever, you can say, I really don't like it. It's turning your feelings into this as a positive parenting message. I don't like it when you do this because it makes me feel angry, upset, disappointed, whatever the case may be. By doing that, you're helping your child understand that there are feelings involved with the actions that they're doing, that there's um, something more than just them to this whole component of their behavior. And children need to understand that. They don't always get that. And I know it's not easy for dads to sit there and say, I don't like it when you, you do this as you make me feel this way. But you know what? Try it. It's going to really help you with parenting your children and getting that message across to them that you get upset when they do something like this. And it's okay for them to understand feelings because what you're also doing is you're teaching them how to say, I don't like it when you tell me that it makes me feel sad. And they have every right to say what their emotions are and what's going on in their life and how they're feeling. Because you never want to negate those feelings. Feelings are important. So that's one way of positive parenting and, you know, a manner of actually trying to parent. You know, you've got all these different things that I've been talking about. We've talked about time out. We've talked about uh, natural and logical consequences. And now there's positive parenting. As a child gets older, then they start recognizing that their behaviors start affecting things. They'll use the vocabulary, no, they certainly get it, they understand that, no, don't, all the negative words. But the idea is to try and positively get them in that idea of, you know, you're not saying no all the time. Kind of that way you also avoid the power struggle. Children are really good at getting that power struggle in, so that's kind of what you want to avoid. Um, the other thing too is just, Remark on things that they're doing that is good. Instead of always talking about the negative things, remark that, wow, you put your dishes away. Thank you so much. That really helps mommy. Or, oh, I liked how you just cleaned up that mess that you made over there. You put your toys away without me asking. Thank you so much. Those types of things go a long way, and a child is always looking for positive reinforcement. They're looking for that, and they'll get it any way they can. So if you offer it to them in a positive manner, Watch how your child changes. It is amazing. So best of luck with the positive parenting because uh, it's a challenge, but you know what? Once you start doing it, it actually works, and I really like this type of parenting skill. So if you like this, follow me on, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, or shoot me off an email and let me know what your comments are. I'm Shana Bradshaw, Dr. Mom HD. Looking forward to chatting with you again next time. Take care for now.